Today we are going to demonstrate cracking of medicinal paraffin. So right now I have a long bowling tube over here. What I have to do is that we're going to add some mineral wool into it. So we are going to add some mineral wool into the bowling tube and we put it at the bottom of the bowling tube. We add it to the bottom of the bowling tube. All right, so that we have the medicinal paraffin over here, and we're going to add it into the onto the mineral wool to have it fully soak in it. Here is the medicinal paraffin. Add it until it is fully soaked with the mineral wool. All right, so right now we're going to add it, put it onto the stand and clamp and clamp it in this position. Then I have a bottle of aluminum oxide powder serving as the catalyst of this reaction to replace the un um, broken piece of unglazed porcelain. So we are going to add the aluminum oxide powder to the boiling tube over here all right should be good enough and I have over here a one hole stopper connected to a delivery tube as well as a rubber tubing so that later when we collect the gaseous product we can use displacement of water. We can insert the tubing over here and stopper it over here. And because of doing displacement of water, what we have to do is that we are going to use some test tube to collect the gaseous product. And that's why the test tube we are going to immerse into this tank of water. Expel all the air out. And for our convenience, we are going to put some stopper in it as well. So that when the gaseous product has been collected, we can stopper it underneath water. Put it inside. And put the tube link in it. Then we are going to start our experiment. You can see already there are some gas being expelled on the tank over here when we start the flame. But think about that, are we using this? Are we using this? Okay, and I'm not going to collect the first batch of gas being expelled out. And you can tell me in the comment why I do not collect this one, okay? I purposely do not collect this one. Then when I heat the aluminum oxide, you can see it start bubbling a little bit. It start bubbling. Okay. And we can insert the test tube with the delivery tube. And you can see the gas is now being collected over here. And if we are heating, the aluminum oxide, you can tell me why I do not heat the mineral wool soaked up with the medicinal paraffin. But instead, I am heating the aluminum oxide powder. And also, you might want to tell me as well why I use powder the form of aluminum oxide. Okay, powder the form. You can see right now, the gaseous product has been collected. Originally, the medicinal paraffin is in liquid state. Okay, and to boost up a little bit, we can actually heat for several seconds over here. Then we come back to the aluminum oxide. Heat several seconds and then go back to here. Okay, and you can see that 
the first chip has been finished the collecting. Almost. Okay. And all right, we can change it to another tube, insert it to another test tube, and we stop the first tube. We stop it. So we have finished preparing the first tube over here. And then we are going to collect the second tube. And again, we're going to heat the aluminum oxide powder over here. Heat it strongly. Some of the time, we might want to heat the medic uh, medicinal paraffin a little bit. Just a little bit, but not heat it for a long, long time. Think about why we do not heat it for a long, long time. You can tell me. All right. Okay, we have finished collecting the second tube. So let's see whether we can collect the third tube. And again, underneath water, we're going to stop up the test tube. And we're going to collect the third one. Now to boost a little bit, how about I show you the problem of heating the medicinal paraffin very strongly. And you can see, wow, it collects very, very fast. Okay, again, can you see? But think about that. Is it our decided product? Is it actually our decided product? If we are going to heat it very, very strongly, the medicinal paraffin, and it should be good enough that, okay, so right now over here, now again, there's one precaution of this experiment is that before we switch off the fire, we need to remove the delivery tube first in order to prevent sucking back of water. That might crack the hot test tube. And we are going to collect it first. And over this tube, you can see, when I wait a little bit, now this is, we force the medicinal paraffin to go. Can you see there is actually an oil layer over here? On top of the water, there is an oil layer. Okay, is it our decided product? You can tell me. Okay, and we can switch off the flame right now. Then, we are going to test this gaseous product with two solutions, okay? Namely, the acidified potassium permanganate solution, okay, in bromine solution. So, let me check the potassium permanganate solution. It was purple in color, and when I am going to add it into the test tube, and stop it back, you see, can you see, it has been decolorized already, all right, it has been decolorized. So what happened, why it turns from purple to colorless, okay, and we also test with bromine solution, okay, this is our collector gaseous product, and here is our bromine, okay. So we are going to add the bromine into it. Okay, bromine was yellow in color because it's so diluted. And right now I'm going to add it. And let's see, when we shake it, it has been decolorized completely. Okay, can you see? Both test chip has been decolorized no matter it's bromine solution, and acetabide per potassium permanganate solution. All right. And one, one more thing I would like to work with you is that let's check again the medicinal paraffin, okay, whether it reacts with the potassium permanganate and the bromine solution as well. So here is the same beaker that we're using the medicinal paraffin. And of course, it is oily in nature because it is organic and we are going to add the purple potassium permanganate into it. You see, of course it's separate two layers because 
the potassium permanganate is of aqueous layer and bromine solution as well. All right. Did the color change compared to the one that we have done? Can you see? All right. Have a very nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.